Hi Leo, how are you guys? I hope you're all doing well. Welcome to Carmelite Readings. I'm Alexandra, also known as Karma. I'm just lighting my sage. Welcome. If you're new here, please make sure you subscribe and join the Carmelite crew. I'm so happy to have you guys here. Um, you guys can also go to my website and join the Carmelite crew for free. Okay. Um, I do blogs there every month and um, I also do two readings. Uh, free readings a month on my website so you can join there as well and yeah so let's go ahead and get started this is for leo sun moon rising and venus please remember i had you guys vote um about doing the readings during the day with my kids here since we are um the schools are closed and i'm homeschooling so my kids are here i have three kids so you may hear some noise in the background but that's okay um, well, let's go ahead and get started leo sun moon rising and venus may 2020 okay let's do this um, as I am shuffling and praying, I'll be going through back and forth between two different decks. Then we'll lay the cards out and we'll get started. All right. <clears throat> Father God, Holy Spirit, thank you for allowing me to be a clear channel of receiving messages for Leo during the month of May 2020. I ask that these messages provide clarity, guidance, understanding, inspiration, enlightenment, as well as healing and a higher perspective of what cycles Leo may be going through and releasing during this time for their higher good. And all that you are and all that you do, Lord, and all that I am and all that I do, I live by your word and your word only. In your name I pray, amen. All right, so let's see here what we have. Holy Spirit, Spirit Guides, Angels of Light, what's the overall message of guidance that you have for Leo today? Overall message of guidance that you have for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for May 2020. Okay. You have Psalms 1832. God arms me with strength and he makes my way perfect. On the back you have faith reminds us that change is always possible. Okay, funny thing that the word strength is in here because that's your card, right, Leo? And the tarot deck strength card is the Leo card. And what I'm seeing here with this card right off the bat is <clears throat> I think that you are looking ahead, looking at your future, what lies ahead, and wondering if you're going to be able to pull it off wondering if this is going to work out the way that you want it to work out is this the path that you are supposed to be on right and i feel that sometimes you may lack a little bit of faith in the direction that you're going in can things change for the better things might not look so good for you right now and what i mean by that is in your life situation or you know whatever you're going through right now things may not be up to par with what you are wanting for your life and what i'm hearing spirit say is you cannot let your outside circumstances <clears throat> make you lose faith in being able to shift the course okay because you can shift the course you you can work with god and determine where you're going i hope you guys can hear me we have fans on so i'm using my headphones today um anything is possible. The word impossible literally says I'm possible. Okay. So remember that it's all about changing your perspective. So let's see what we have here for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Holy Spirit, Spirit Guides, Angels of Light. What messages do we have for Leo for May 2020? We're starting out with the Queen of Cups, okay, and the Seven of Wands. So there may be a cycle that's ending right now for you. Um, somebody's either, this could be you, Leo, but I feel, I'm feeling somebody's a little bit defensive emotionally or closed off, okay? Let me lay everything out here. So I have the Queen of Cups, could be dealing with the water sign, don't have to be, but I, I'm getting the energy that this Queen of Cups may represent you, 
okay? You're looking within. I feel this is an emotional situation that you're dealing with, okay? Please keep in mind this is a general reading. So this could have to do with family members, friends, business, and of course, intimate relation. You just need to place the energy where it belongs. I have Aries energy um, clear on the table as well. Okay, so this situation may have happened during Aries season, so end of March, um, first two weeks of April. doesn't have to be, okay? Or you could be dealing with an Aries as well. But I'm getting the energy from this that somebody's perception is, and I feel like this is you, your perception of something could be creating blocks or you really feel like you are right in this situation and you could be, but you're needing to defend your emotions about something. You're needing to really set some boundaries about why something is ending or why something has to end. Okay, does that make sense? Tell me about this Queen of Cups, please. And the Seven of Wands. Why is the Queen of Cups here? Holy Spirit, Spirit Guides, Angel of Light. So, Queen of Cups, Seven of Wands. Because you're feeling stuck. You're feeling trapped in this situation. There's a situation that is not conducive to your growth. Okay, there's a lot of anxiety um, connected with this situation. There's something hidden here, okay? And that could be hidden within yourself. These are inner emotions that you're needing to connect to. And you're needing to release yourself from some type of fear-based thoughts and or perceptions that are truly keeping you bound and blind and holding you back from the growth that you are trying to achieve, okay? You're worried. I feel this could be a lack of self-trust here, okay? Tell me about this world card, please, for Leo. This is happening because something is ending or something did end, okay? Oh my goodness. So there's a betrayal here. I don't know who, if it was you, I feel it happened to you, but something ended because the truth either was revealed or you realize that you were blind to the truth. There's a block happening in your life. Something needs to end so that you can receive the abundance and the blessings that God has for you so that you can be on the destined path of, you know, uplifting and for your higher good and building your life to the point where you want it to be, Leo. But you're, you're stuck in a cycle right now. You're stuck in a cycle. And I think you've been in this cycle for a while. And I, I think that you're just now coming to that point where you're recognizing that it's a cycle. Do you know what I mean? Where you're like, oh, I think I need to finally let this go because things have been the same for way too long. Not that keeping things the same or having a routine is wrong, but you've got to really look at your, your life situation here from a higher perspective and see what is working and what what isn't working, right? In the past, I have the Knight of Pentacles. So there was some type of movement forward or offer on the table, whether it was with the same person regarding the situation or if it was a job offer, but there was some type of promise from the past But I don't think that that worked out. I think it fell through. Tell me about this. Oh, yeah. Here, what's this? Two cards flipped over. Yeah, it fell through. Somebody walked away from a family or from... Somebody either walked away from a family or they walked away from a situation that could have been really good. It was like a missed opportunity. Maybe you were in a you know committed relationship with this person at one point. But it just wasn't... It wasn't meeting your, I don't like to use the word standards. It wasn't meeting your expectations. It wasn't meeting what you felt you needed in order for your life to go in the direction that you want it to go in. I feel you guys did a lot of back and forth though. This could be a marriage. You could have been married to this person 
um, like I said, family. And it's like, okay, you guys were staying together because you didn't really want to split, but it's coming to that point where you're going to need to. You know what I mean? You ha It's not healthy for you. What you have coming into your energy right now is the Seven of Cups. Okay? It's the Seven of Cups. So... This is confusion. This is a lot going on, everything up in the air. I think that you're feeling like you're in the dark in certain aspects of your life, okay? And you're not quite sure where to place your energy. Tell me about the seven of cups. Like, which cup do I fill? Which direction do I go? You could be really stressed out because you have a lot on your plate as well. Yeah. Three of wands. So... You are looking towards your future and you're trying to strategize and plan right now on which course of action do you take, okay? Um, there's a couple options. Two of them are behind you. So it's like, do I continue on the same path and the same cycle where, like I said before, things weren't really going in the direction that you wanted them to go? You feel like you cannot make a decision until you receive clarity on a situation. It's almost like you need the truth of a situation in order for you to decide which way to go in your life, okay? And I get that. But what I'm feeling here from spirit is no, because they're wanting you to make a decision without needing some type of outside validation. Like, you need to make a decision that's for you, not based off of what anyone else is doing. Okay, in the future, I have the Emperor. So this is that Aries energy that I was telling you about. Tell me about this Emperor, please. This could be somebody coming back towards you with the Knight of Swords. Um, this person may be like very fixed in their beliefs, okay? Um, I feel like this could also be you, but there's a lot of fiery energy that I'm feeling here. Um, I have Sagittarius energy too. There's a need to heal something, but I, I, Spirit's saying take your time because there's some pain in this connection where it's almost like somebody feels they've been betrayed, they've been backstabbed, but I'm also getting the energy that somebody is down and out, like they're on their last, last luck, right? Tell me more about this emperor and the knight of swords. You have to set boundaries for yourself that are healthy and that you don't allow anyone to cross. Yeah, there's a message coming in from this emperor in the future. Definite and possible movement, okay? Possible movement. If you're a Leo male, I feel that this is you like ascending and rising into your your true self, okay? Also for females, if you're a female Leo, I'm getting the energy that this could be rapid self-growth and really connecting with your masculine energy here um, and becoming whole as well where you are able to make finite decisions here. Like you, right now you're in the planning mode and then come into the future, you see it clearly. So things are gonna happen very quickly. This could be movement, moving, okay? But also I feel this is some type of communication regarding a situation that's causing a block in your life. Here's your energy right now, the magician. This is beautiful. You are coming into your power, okay? You're coming into your power. You have everything that you need to make this situation or your life work and that's through god and that's what he's saying god arms me with strength and he makes my way perfect so he is guiding you and leading you i think that you just need to gain a little bit more confidence tell me about this magician for leo please yeah you're moving towards better times here, okay? You're moving towards better times. You're moving towards some type of celebration. Um, good news, this is about stability. For some of you, this could be a job offer. Your money is coming together. This is something that you put a lot of thought into as well and something that you've been really kind of focused on bringing to life. 
This is meeting with somebody. There's some of you that are going to be um, having some type of discussion about building your future with this person, okay? You're manifesting this. I feel that this is something that's very heavy on your mind. Tell me about this Ten of Wands. So the outside influence is the Ten of Wands. This situation, it's almost a burden, okay? I feel like you feel very overworked right now. You feel very stressed. There's a lot on your plate, a lot on your shoulders. Um, but you're just, you're pushing forward, okay? But be careful because this person's head is down. So don't just plow through things, okay? Tell me about this Ten of Wands, please. You're trying to create a stable environment here. I think that you are at this point where you're making the decision which which way is going to lead me to that happiness that I'm longing for inside, to that stable future. Okay, this is a lot of action taking place, a lot of fire energy. So this is you. If this is about a person, it's because you're wanting this commitment to be more solid, more grounded, okay? There's some type of balance that needs to happen in this connection. Tell me about this Queen of Pentacles, please, Holy Spirit. Spirit guides, angel of light. Leo, sun, moon, rising, and Venus, Queen of Pentacles, please. Leo energy, yeah, that's you. So the Queen of Pentacles is you. This is self-care. I think that right now what you're doing is you're really focused on yourself, your home life. If you have children, what can you do um, to build this up and make it more solid and move in, sorry, and move in that direction and move in that positive, um, liberating direction of being illuminated? The sun makes me think very much of your connection with God, okay? And so I'm feeling that through this self-care, because the Queen of Pentacles is very nurturing, she's very grounded, she has a very stable home environment, uh, but she's very good at caring for herself as well and making sure that she has um, what she needs to, in order for her to, to run things properly, right? That you're resting, that you're refueling your energy with positive um, energy and that you're, you're letting go of any ties, bonds, or negative energy that could be surrounding you, right? Like cutting cords, so to speak. Because you're liberating yourself. Like I said, you're ending cycles that are not good for you. And it's hard to do because you don't really um, want to walk away. But this is a, a toxic connection or situation if this isn't a relationship. And so there's steps that need to be taken to remove that energy from around you, Leo, in order for you to be able to evolve to the level that you're trying to evolve to. We have the Page of Pentacles as the outcome. So this is new information. Some of you could be, like I said, starting a new job, new school, um, new promises coming in, some type of apology maybe. Tell me about this Page of Pentacles as the outcome. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Mm. Seven of Swords. So I'm feeling that there's a lot of regret and remorse here from somebody that they're coming forward to speak their truth and apologize, tell you that they're sorry for the things they've done. Somebody may have stolen something from you. I don't. I just got that. Um, and they, it's almost like they want to work on things or they want to heal things. But you, there's still something hidden. There's still a truth in this situation, and I feel. This is you needing to heavily rely on your intuition. If this situation is toxic, which it looks like it is, you're 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 blind to the truth of something and you're needing to end this cycle. Or you're just going to This is very similar to Cancer's reading. It's like you're just going to keep going in the same circle until you guys address something 
and both of you heal what needs to be healed and you change the way you're reacting. Because you have a bright future ahead of you, Leo. You have a promise here of you being able to move in the direction that you want to move in. But there's a lot of anxiety and worry. There's a lot of staying up at night, not sure if this is going to actually work out in your favor. Holy Spirit, closing messages, please, surrounding this Nine of Swords for Leo. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, closing messages. This is about an offer coming through. It could be from another fire sign. It doesn't have to be. But this is some type of offer of love that is either going to be made to you or that you're thinking about making. But there's a lot of fear around it. There's a lot of like fear of rejection, um, not knowing if you should, wanting to take a break from this connection. could be dealing with a Gemini. It's like you just want a break from this person. You need time to think because I think it's very overwhelming for you. Yeah, you're wanting to take a break and start over. You don't want to be in this type of atmosphere anymore, Leo. That's what I'm seeing. And you're like, I just, you're a lion, right? So you just want to like run free for a little bit. Um, and I don't even mean like just because you want to date other people or you just need to be yourself. And I feel that you're starting to feel very stifled in this situation. And you're, you're needing to, to live in your truth and connect to your truth and your strength and to bring balance. I feel that if you take this break, you're going to have a lot of um, revelations, time to think, spiritual healing. Okay? All right, Leo, thank you so much for tuning in. This is your reading for May 2020. If it resonates and you're interested in a personal reading, please check out my website. The description is, up, or the information is in the description box below. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye.